I'm Mayor Matt Doyle, and as you may know, uh, the county has called for a stay home, stay safe uh, declaration. And I'm asking the citizens of Texas City to, to pay attention to that declaration. As you will hear from both chiefs, there are, this is really for us as Texas City residents. I know as Texans, we do not like to be told what to do. But if we're, we also care a great deal about our family and our community. And we need to adhere to the, what we're being asked by this declaration. It's not the time to prove a point. It's time to take care of the people that we love. So if you do not need to go out, stay at home, spend some time with your family. Probably never will you have spent this much time with them. Enjoy that time with your family. Enjoy the ability to know that you're doing something very important for your community. And most importantly, we will get through this. This, will, this too will pass. And I just want to add, tell all of you, God bless Texas and God bless Texas City. Hello, I am Texas City Police Chief Joe Stanton. Galveston County has issued an order to stay at home effective as of 11.59 p.m. on March 24, 2020 and continuing until 11.59 April 3, 2020. The order's intent is to help slow the spread of the COVID-19 virus. This is a legal order and the City of Texas City is asking everyone to comply with the spirit and intent of the order, which is to stay at home and not make any unnecessary trips away from your residence. First and foremost, you the citizens of Texas City have no reason to fear your police department during these difficult times. Our mission is and always will be to protect with strength and serve with compassion. We ask everyone to take this order seriously and to make smart decisions about whether leaving your residence is reasonable, necessary, and an essential activity under this order. We, the Texas City Police Department, are the last resort to obtain compliance, but you, the citizens of Texas City, must do your part. You must understand that there are medical consequences that affect you, your family, friends, and neighbors if you don't comply. The COVID-19 virus outbreak is unprecedented and unlike anything we have ever experienced. The City of Texas City's highest priority is the health and safety of our community. Maintaining law and order is the Texas City Police Department's first priority we are staffed and ready to provide essential public safety services to our citizens. We are a community like any, any other. We have always been the first community in a crisis, and we've always been the first community out of a crisis. We will prevail. Thank you, and stay Texas City strong. Hello, I'm David Zachary, Fire Chief of the City of Texas City. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about things you're going to be doing around town when you go out or while you're staying at home. I know it's springtime, so it's a good time for painting and mowing and cleaning the gutters and trimming trees and stuff, so practice some work safety while you're out. If you're working off a ladder, be careful, things like that. You don't want to spend this time period in the hospital with a broken leg. Um, when you call 911 and ask for an EMS unit, the dispatchers are going to ask you some questions that may not seem relevant, but those questions are designed to ensure that we're protecting you when we show up and provide a, a good level of service for EMS. We're going to ask you a series of questions that will determine the level of PPE we're going to supply to both you and uh, our firefighters. Uh, the nation's supply system for PPE is a little slow right now, but the supply system for groceries and things like that is working fine uh, as long as people quit hoarding stuff. So if you shop normally like you normally do for a week or two at a time, uh, the stores are going to fill up again and we'll at least have a normal part of our life on that end. Uh, practice some universal precautions when you do go out in public. Uh, grocery carts, wipe down the handle with some uh, baby wipes or some type of wipe, spray it with a little can of Lysol or something like that. You go to get gas, wipe the handle down, wipe the, the keypad down, things like that before you use them. Uh, we don't normally think about that. I have to stop and do it myself, but uh, it helps out if, if you kind of wipe stuff down before uh, you use it. Observe the six-foot rule. We're, uh, we're pretty friendly here in Texas, and we like to stop and chat and talk about old times. Uh, wave, maybe an elbow bump, and go on about your business. Uh, it's also flu and allergy season. 
So you want to keep those symptoms in mind. Uh, those are uh, part and parcel to the questions we're going to ask you when we come. Uh, COVID symptoms are a, are a cough, a high temperature, and a shortness of breath. Your flu sy symptoms, everybody's had the flu before, you'll get a fever, cough, you'll have sore throat, runny nose, uh, muscle and body aches, headaches, things like that for the flu. And if you have allergies, uh, like I do, you'll get nasal congestion, but you won't have any of the fevers and things like that. So uh, be careful out there and practice some universal precautions. Like I said, when you go outside or go to visit the grocery store and gas station, things like that, and when you're working around the house doing all these honeydews and things that need to get done in the spring, uh, make sure you're careful with that too. Thank you.